everybody, this is Praxis, and the house site is starting to finally feel like an actual enclosed space to some degree. I feel like I'm walking around that Minecraft model that I'd made recently. Right here, I'm kind of sitting in the corner of what's going to be the kitchen. It goes into sort of the living area. Back here is the pantry, utility room, restroom. Yeah, they call it a bathroom in a house. Uh, back over in that corner, greenhouse is over here. It's really starting to feel like you, know, you can get a sense of the space here. Uh, I want to direct your attention back behind you, down over here, down to your left. Uh, you can see down into where they're going to be pouring the wall, and there are a couple of things of interest down in here, which are uh, pretty normal whenever you are doing a foundation pour. You see all these little horizontal uh, silver bars in there, and those little silver bars are what are holding the sides of the the forms together. Without the silver bars, when they poured the concrete in, the forms would just all fall apart from the weight of the concrete. So those hold it together, and I'm going to have an intimate relationship with those um, probably within the next week or so, because the tips of each and every one of these bars in all of these walls, I'm going to have to knock off, and you hit them a couple of times with a hammer laterally to knock them off, and it's not a big deal, but there are going to be a lot of them, so there's going to be a lot of bang with hammers. I think River might have some fun with that, so I'll see if I can get him on, in on that job, just whacking these little uh, stubs of metal uh, off at the end, and also, if you can see down in there, there's a little piece of corrugated black pipe. It's uh, just down in this direction, it looks like a couple little stripes where you can see the, the glistening reflection of the sky down in there. That is uh, one of the critical pass-throughs that was set up to get uh, outside air into where the wood stove is going to be. The wood stove is going to be just about where this little pile of forms is over here, maybe a little bit closer to us. But the wood stove is right in this general area, and we're going to be drawing air for the wood stove to burn from the greenhouse. And I always like doing outside air because instead of drawing air that's already warmed from your house, uh, it, which has to be made up by, you know, you know, getting air from outside, coming through leaks and cracks around every window and door. Uh, I like getting outside air, so you are, you're keeping the air that's in your house, and, you know, you're just burning with, you know, air that was already cold from outside. The uh, upside of that is that, you know, your house stays warmer. The slight downside of that is that you can have, uh, you know, you're not going to refresh and get fresh air in your house as quickly as you would otherwise, you know, by, you know, mandate of the fact that, you know, you're constantly leaking through all of your windows, so it makes your house less leaky, which, you know, you don't have as much fresh air. But as long as you account for that in other ways, uh, you know, I think it's an overall win, uh, especially when it's super cold. You don't want to be having all those drafts come in. So that is down in there, set in the exact place that I calculated. And, you know, the next step after they get these walls in is for me to start laying out all these pipes that are going to be below the floor. That's one of them. There's another pass through here for plumbing, another pass through over there for plumbing. So there's a lot of things that are starting to kind of uh, come into being that, like I was saying yesterday, were, you know, mathematically figured out before. And, you know, I'm just hoping that I did it all properly. But so far, so good. And it's nice to really start feeling like you're in the space. I can see like what the view is going to be from the windows that are going to be here eventually. So super excited. But this is just the beginning of the journey. This is nowhere near the end. Thanks for watching.